so last week when I was on vacation, I got bit by a scorpion. And um, I had never gotten bit by a scorpion before. I thought it was maybe a hornet or a bee, but it was a scorpion, according to the doctor. That was uh, interesting. Knocked me out for a full day on my vacation, swelled up my calf. I no longer have an ankle. It's just one big calf. It's really unattractive. But I forgot to tell several people who have asked me about my vacation about the scorpion bite. And a friend, yesterday a friend was asking me and I was telling her all about the vacation. And she said, why didn't you lead with that? Why did you not tell me for 15 minutes that you got bit by a freaking scorpion? And I was like, oh, that's really interesting because that's like the dramatic thing, right? Like that's the bum, bum, bum. That's the, the negative. And I used to really like to start with the negative. I used to love like the drama of a story or the challenge or let me tell you how I was wronged or the injustice of it all. And uh, I realized that this little scorpion bite taught me that I don't even do that anymore. It's not on my radar to do it naturally. I mean, it's fun to tell one of those stories sometimes, but ultimately, if you're always leading with drama or challenge or problem or complaint or injustice, then you are stealing your own time and energy. And that may be what keeps you from enjoying an experience or reaching a goal. So I could have spent my entire rest of the vacation wallowing about how I missed a day and how ugly this looked because honestly, it's so hideous, but I didn't even focus on it. I was just like, okay, that's done. Let's just get back to enjoying this. When I came back, I realized it's not even on my radar to talk about. Do you do this? Do you start with the drama or the problem or the challenge? Because if you do, you're probably stealing time from yourself that could be better used making something happen for you. Um, if you've got a business idea that is circling around in your head and you're like, why haven't I made it happen? Probably you're spending a lot of time beating yourself up about what you have not done. Let me give you an example. Yesterday I was on a coaching call with a couple of clients uh, in my group Hi to who's ever out there. And we were talking about the, the struggle that they're having. They're all struggling with time management. And they were focused on what they didn't accomplish, what they hadn't done, and how much they didn't get done off their list. Every single one of them had the same complaint. And uh, what, I, what I realized was like how much they were focusing on the negative and what they hadn't done. They were kind of leading with the drama. And it was stealing their time. And for every single one of them, within 10 minutes of cleaning up the drama and focusing on what was working and what could work and what action to take, every single one of them within 10 minutes was like, oh, now I know what to do next. So if you feel like you're not meeting your goals because, you know, you don't have the time, you don't have the energy, your, your mindset is saying, you can't do this, you can't do this. I promise you, you're probably focusing way too much on what you're not doing. You're focusing way too much on the drama or the problem. And I want you to focus on what you can do. What focused action can you take? Now, if you're confused about what's next, which is what my clients were, that's not a problem. There's people out there. Like we can have a conversation and within 10 minutes, you are probably going to be on your merry way. But in life, in general, if you're showing up and you're always leading with the drama, you're zapping your time, you're zapping your energy, and you're really messing with your mindset. And until you get those things under control, you're not going to reach your goals. So this might be something you need to focus on, whether it's in a relationship or some with people you work with or a job or you want to bring that business to life, you want to get that podcast off the ground, whatever it takes. If you're leading with the drama every single time and you're only focused on the negative, you're not going to move forward. So if it's just that you're confused on the how, the hows can be figured up, they show up, but you've got to get your mindset right and you've got to get your time mastery right. If working on this stuff is something you need help with, that's what I do. I'm happy to talk about it. So drop me a comment below. And if you like this content, please follow or please share with somebody that you know could really use this information. My name is Jen Liddy. I'm a business development coach for creative, busy women who have an idea or a business that they want to bring to life and they want it to serve them. They want to do it in their own way. And that's what I help them, help them get to. But I would love to know, do you ever lead with the drama? Do you like find yourself always like starting with the story of the complaint or the drama or the challenge? 
I used to do that and I understand how alluring it is, but I'll tell you what, it kept me stuck for a long time and my goal is to get you unstuck. So reach out, drop me a note or follow me on my business page. Thank you for watching. Bye.